What's up guys, Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. Today we're checking out the Nissan Silvia Spec RS15 by Elite Tuners. We're going to do a maxed out stage 6 shift in tune. We're going to show you how to do it on stage 5. So a, a maxed out stage 5, I guess you would say. <laughs> we'll show you a live racing setup and we are also going to do a review on the car. So let's start off with the maxed out stage 6 shift and tune. When this car is 100% maxed out with all the fusion parts and all the stage 6 parts, this is how we are going to shift it and tune it. Nitrous all the way to the right. Final drive 2.0. Tire pressure 8 PSI. And that will give us a dyno time of a 6.891. To drive this car when it's 100% maxed out, we're going to let go of the gas a little bit after number 1. Instantly shift into the second, hit your nitrous, all the rest of the shifts right before the red line. Three, two, one, go. Second nitrous, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear, and that's all she wrote. Very easy car to drive. Just make sure you get like a late launch because if you don't launch just right, the needle gets st stuck and it does all kinds of weird stuff. And then we got a 6.821, which is a very good time. This video is made possible by Asho Speed the King. Make sure you check him out on YouTube. Now it's time for a stage 5 shift pattern and tune. When you have this car on stage 5 only and you have all of the fusions installed, this is the way we are going to tune it, shift it, and drive it. Nitrous all the way to the right. Final drive 2.44 and tire pressure on 8 PSI and that's going to give us an 8.883 on the dyno time. To drive this car on stage 5, let go of the gas a little bit before launch. Instantly shift into second, hit your nitrous all the rest of the shifts right before the red line. 3, 2, 1, go. Second nitrous. Third, fourth, fifth. Six, and that's all she wrote. Very easy car to drive for the most part. And there we ran a 8.805. So it is beating the dyno time by just a little bit. The dyno is 8.883. Now let's go see if we can find the live racing setup. Let's go ahead and do a low performance point high evo live racing setup for this car, which should allow you to win live races without beating the dyno meaning your car will always stay in the same lobby if you don't beat the dyno time. So we are going to put our engine to stock. Turbo stock. Intake stage 3. Nitrous stage 4. Body stock. Tire stage 3. Transmission stage 5. Put your nitrous to 146 and 1 1.6. Final drive 3.49. And tire pressure on 8 psi. And that's going to put us right in the 11.0 lobby. So our goal is to run as close to 11.0 as possible, but not beat 11.0 so the car doesn't get picked up and put into the wrong lobbies. So to drive this, we're just going to do a very standard shift pattern, or you can just go ahead and, uh, you know, instantly shift to the second and hit your nitrous. Doesn't really seem to make much of a difference. Three, two, one, go. Second nitrous, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Actually, that might have just got me in the 10.9s. Ah, we got 11.0 right there. So if you run it just like that, you got to get your shifts and your launch just right. And you can hit the 11.0, but I think it's a little bit hard to hit that now. If you would like to put your tires and your transmission on stage 6, nitrous on stage 3, intake on stage 3, that's going to get you into the... 10.4 lobby if you put your nitrous to the right final drive 3.64 and tire on 8 psi that will run right about 10.4 so if you want to drive it like this this is what we're going to do we're going to go three two one let go second third nitrous fourth fifth sixth and this will beat dino by a little bit and it should beat the 10.4 so that's a better way to do it if you can get the stage 6 parts. Then you can just downshift once or twice before you cross the finish line. If you notice you're beating 10.4s. Last run was 10.348. That was 10.423. So, alright, let's go do a review on this thing. 
So this seems like a pretty darn good car after all. It's got something that should do pretty darn good at live racing. It's a little tricky to hit the right times. You got to shift it and launch it just right. So it's not quite the easiest to drive to hit the times you need to do well, well at live racing. But it does have over three times the amount of Evo as performance points, meaning it should get a pretty nice lobby advantage. 0 to 60 is in like 0 0.7 seconds. 0 to 100 is like 1.1 something. We are doing over 370 miles per hour, I think it was. Uh, no, 399 miles per hour, guys. We are doing 399. It's a very cool car. I mean, it's doing, what, 6.9s? You know, 6.9s, 6.8s maybe if you get a perfect run. So bottom line is I like the car. Unfortunately, when the Elite Tuners event starts for this car, you're either going to have to have a whole bunch of tokens saved up so you can Elite it, or you're going to have to spend some money to buy the parts, because when the event for this car starts, well, you know, it's going to have a timer on it. I don't know if it's 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, but it's going to have a timer, and you got to get it all done before if you want to unlock all the bells and whistles and body kits and rims and paint jobs and stuff like that. But the good news is, even if you don't get all that stuff, it's still going to be a really cool car. You might not end up with all the rims and body kits, but you're still going to be able to max out the car eventually. It may not look as cool if you don't do it, but you don't have to do the Elite Tuners event for the car to make the car good, right? You just have to get all the Elite upgrades on it, filled up with Fusion Stage 6 and tune it, the body kits and all that stuff. In my opinion, that's just a bonus. Now, I do like some of the other Elite Tuners cars a little bit better than this one, but overall, this is actually a really nice, really cool car. I mean, it seems like it's going to be pretty good at everything. So, yeah, I mean, if you want to do the Elite Tuners event, upgrade it. If you're not interested in that, stick with what you're already doing because it's going to take a lot of those tokens. Like I said, you know, you're almost going to have to spend some money to upgrade this. So, personally, I'm probably not going to do the event for this car. I'm not really that interested in uh, getting all the bells and whistles for it because it's still going to be a cool car. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Have an awesome day and check out this little message before we go. Thanks. In just a second, some more videos you might be interested in are about to pop up on the screen. Thank you to all the awesome channel members and everybody who watches my videos. I really appreciate the support. If you would like to become a channel member and help this channel keep running and bring you awesome content, click the join button down below the video. Or if you drop down the video's description, then you'll find some other ways to help support this channel, some game news, my other YouTube channels, my Discord server, affiliate links to some audio plugins, and some really awesome gear. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you a lot. Lighting it out. Have a great day. See ya.